Hello fellow entrepreneurs, welcome back to a fresh new series. In previous series, we gave you a basic introduction to vending industry. And in this particular series, we're going to talk about a slightly advanced concept called D2C model. How D2C brands are going to revolutionize vending industry and how vending machine as a channel is going to help D2C brands as well as end consumers. In this particular video, let us talk about what D2C concept is. So without further ado, let's get started. D2C stands for direct to customer. In this particular model, a product brand reaches the end consumer directly without relying upon traditional distribution system as well as retail and in some cases even big e-commerce platforms. The digital first as opposed to digital only approach to target consumers is touted as a bridge between traditional retail and e-commerce channel. Talking about the first benefit, since there is no middleman involved, the profit goes directly to the manufacturer. The second benefit, as D2C brands mostly sell through e-commerce and social media, they can access more targeted customers and can connect with them on a deeper level. The third benefit, as they have customer data, they can provide higher degree of personalization in their product offering. And the last one, with customizable range and access to customer heat map and rich data, it allows for more room for product testing, which results in quicker iterations and better innovation. So now that we have understood the D2C model, let us understand how the D2C model differs from a B2C model. Essentially, all D2C brands are B2C, but not all B2C brands are D2C. Let us try to exemplify this. As mentioned before, a D2C brand manufactures and sells product directly to the end consumer. A great example would be Eco or Kindle devices from Amazon. These devices are manufactured by Amazon and are sold by Amazon as well. Let's take another example, Nike, which sells its product through multiple third-party retail outlets, makes it a B2C brand, but they also have their own branded stores. And in the last few years, they have also started their own e-commerce website, which also makes them a B2C brand. So that's it folks. I hope this video has given you some understanding about D2C model. In coming videos, we are going to explore this topic much further. Please do subscribe our channel to keep getting regular updates and do like, share and comment on this video as much as you can. And as always, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.